there, I'm Katie for Rusticate and Rusticate DIY, and today I'm going to be doing a thread dyeing project. I'm going to be dyeing my tatting thread. And kind of the reason I decided to experiment with this is that I really wanted to do a Valentine's project for my friends, tatting project, and to share that with everybody. But when I was looking online, all I could find were lower quality threads, they were colors I didn't like, the prices were really high, and I've got a lot of white thread, a lot of white and off white thread, and so I thought this is the perfect opportunity to try and dye the thread myself and see how that goes. And I was really, really excited with the result, so I'm totally thrilled to share that with you today. Most often when you see these dyeing projects for thread or yarn, they're doing the actual whole skein of it, or the whole ball of yarn, and for this, I'm actually going to be just doing my finished product. And I'll show you how it works. It's similar for doing a larger amount of thread, except that for the larger amount of thread, you'd want to unwind it and, and put it in a larger pot. I also am not going to let the dye sit as long. Um, oftentimes, it's recommended that for these home-based dyes, if you're doing it in a larger quantity, that you would do it in boiling or very hot water and you would let it soak for around an hour. Because this is a very small project and there's not a lot of thread involved, I'm only going to let it soak for a minute and then I'll pull it out. And I will walk you through the steps as we go. And the way this works is I am going to be using a turmeric today as well as a baking soda. So turmeric is a awesome substance that you can use in your kitchen for so many different things. It also works as a dye especially well in cottons and wools. When it is a dye, it is actually an acid base or an acid base indicator. And so when you mix that with something else, a base, it's gonna react and cause a change of color. So when you mix it with that base, it goes from its turmeric color, which is a very brilliant yellow into the orange range, depending on how long you let something soak in it. And it makes that react and it will change into a whole range of colors that are more in the red spectrum, depending on how much turmeric there is in that thread when you add the baking soda. So for this, I am using a tatted heart that I made previously. There is a pattern for it online and I'll have a link below. So I'm gonna show you the process and the end result. Now anybody that watches my videos very often or reads my posts knows that I use a lot of DMC Baroque crochet cotton for my tatting. Um, this is gonna be the same item I'm gonna to use today to dye. I'm using the white color. It's a very brilliant, I would say bleached white. And so it actually takes the dye pretty well. It's a 100% cotton. So go ahead and get either your tatting, crochet, anything that you have that is a white or off-white cotton. I don't recommend that you start with something super elaborate or something that's really precious to you. I would start with a small project or even a you know string of boo-boos that you have. And do that first, make sure you get the color that you like, and then go back and do that pretty project that you really want to keep for yourself or to send to somebody else. So I hope you will enjoy this project. I hope it will encourage and inspire you to experiment and have fun and dig those things out of the cupboard. All right, let's get started. All right, so this is the project we're gonna be doing today. This is what it looks like when it's white. There's light pink and then darker pink. And I'm gonna be using baking soda and turmeric for this recipe today. First, I'm gonna to get together a cloth, a shallow bowl, and warm water. I'm gonna place my white or cream objects, my cotton objects, in my shallow bowl. For the darker pink, I'm going to use a half tablespoon of turmeric, sprinkle it on top, and then one cup of warm water. I will then mix up the turmeric and water over the cotton items, and then I'm going to let this sit for one minute. Now, if you want a lighter pink, then I would just use a teaspoon of turmeric. It's really the amount of turmeric you use that's going to impact the pink color more than the baking soda. 
All right, so now we're ready to pull our items out. A minute has passed. I'm gonna put these on a towel or a paper towel and let them dry. You can see they're a really pretty yellow right now. And this is also great for if you just want yellow thread. I'm just going for the pink today because I'm planning on doing the Valentine's projects. But great dye for yellow as well. It will fade a little bit over time, but it's really pretty. So again, here's an example of what it looks like doing turmeric dyeing to achieve yellow. If you left it in longer, you could get a little bit more of an orange color. These are dry, so now I'm putting them back in my bowl. I've cleaned my bowl, putting them back in, and then I'm going to sprinkle in my baking soda. For the color that I want to achieve today, I'm going to be using one teaspoon baking soda. And then a half a cup of warm water. At this one, I'm going to stir it up and I will let this sit for between 30 seconds and a minute depending on how pink I want it. There'll be a link on this video to a page on my website that will contain the recipes that I used for these two colors. So I will have a dark pink, almost a burgundy, and a light pink recipe online so you can access that. All right, now I'm gonna pull these out of the water. That minute has passed. Place them on a clean paper towel. You can see they're already starting to change color. And they'll look a little bit orange when they're in the water as soon as the baking soda starts to take effect. But as this sits and dries, it's actually going to turn into more of a dark pink. Here, I'll show you that process. There's a little bit of a time lapse between here, but you can see how it's really starting to turn a pink. All right, now I'm going to actually set up a time lapse and let you see. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment, share, save. All those things really help. And if you haven't subscribed already, make sure and do that when you get a chance and hit that notification bell so you get notified of all new content. I will see you again next time and thanks so much for watching. Bye.